Panicked motorists queued at petrol stations in major cities to stock up on gasoline following the scrubbing of a decades-long government-funded subsidy that has helped reduce pump prices. Following the announcement by President Bola Tinubu, marketers have more than doubled prices, resulting in a surge in the price of transport. Right now I'm supposed to be at work, see me, I'm here, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to get for it. They have been checking their fuel for like five, five minutes. Maybe they're still for a day. See now, this is past 11. I've been here 2 a.m. This is past 11. And I don't even, I'm not even sure I'm going to get for And if I didn't get the fuel today, definitely I will still be here tomorrow. In ending the subsidy, Nigeria has bowed to pressure from the IMF and World Bank, which have long criticized the measure as wasteful. I will not say the removal is bad because nothing good comes easy of a truth. But the thing is that better is the end of everything than the beginning thereof. I think it's for us as a Nigeria, we can still be patient. Because look at the amount government is putting on subsidy. It's not like, it's huge. I think that money is enough to upgrade our refinery. So at least for Nigeria, let's be patient and see the end of it. Despite being a top oil producer in Africa, Nigeria largely depends on imported refined petroleum products. Across West Africa, you have, you know, top prices much higher than what you have in Nigeria. Um, the truth is, our economies, I mean, on the GDP per capita, are perhaps, you know, more buoyant than what you have for most West African countries. And there will have to be an adjustment period um, and a change in consumption patterns, maybe in lifestyle, um, for, for Nigerians. Because the truth is, what I'd like to note, we don't really have any options at this time. The resulting hike in gasoline prices could cause more hardship in a country where many are already struggling to cope with record unemployment and poverty levels.